Bal Gangadhar Tilak, commonly known as Lokamandi Tilak, was a leader of the Indian independence movement and belonged to the extremist faction. He was also called the father of Indian unrest. Background born as Keshab Gangadhar Tilak in 1856 in Ratnachari, modern day Maharashtra. Born into a middle class Hindu family, got a bachelor's degree from Pune. Initially worked as a maths teacher. Later started working as a journalist and joined the freedom movement. He was one of the founders of the Ferguson College in Pune. He died in 1920 aged 64. Political life Tilak joined the Congress in 1890. He was opposed to moderate ways and views and had a more radical and aggressive stance against British rule. He was one of the first advocates of Swaraj or self-rule. He gave the slogan, Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. He believed that no progress was possible without self-rule. He was part of the extremist faction of the Include and was a proponent of boycott and Swadeshi movements. He published two papers, Kesri in Marathi and Maratha in English. He was fearless in his criticism of the government in these papers. He was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment on charges of incitement to murder. He had written that killers of oppressors could not be blamed, quoting the Baghdad Jita. After this, two British officials were killed by two Indians in retaliation to the tyrannical measures taken by the government during the bubonic plague episode in Bombay. Along with Bhairkan Chandra Pal and Lal Lajpat Rai, he was called the LBAL Pal trio of extremist leaders. He was tried for sedition several times. He spent six years in Mandalay prison from 1908 to 1914 for writing articles defending Prafuta Chucky and Koi Dirambos. They were revolutionaries who had killed two English women, throwing bomb into the carriage carrying the women. Chucky and Bose had mistakenly assumed that Magistrate Douglas King's fur was in it. T. rejoined the Include in 1916, after having split earlier. He was one of the founders of the All India Home Rule League, along with Annie Besson and G. S. Caphart. For his political ideals, T. drew heavily from the ancient Hindu scriptures. He called for people to be proud of their heritage. He was against blatant westernization of society. He transformed the simple Ganesh Puja performed at home into a social and public Ganesh festival. He used the Ganesh Chaturthi and Shiv J. Anti birth anniversary of Shivahi festivals to create unity and a national spirit among the people. Unfortunately, this move alienated non-Hindus from him. The Sardhanic Ganesh Hotsav as popularized by him since 1894 is still one of the biggest festivals of Maharashtra. Social views despite being a nationalist radical leader, B.A.L. Gangadhar Tidlock's social views were conservative. He was against Hindu women getting modern education. He was opposed to the age of consent bill initially in which the age of marriage of girls was proposed to be raised from 10 to 12. Even though he was okay with this raising of age, he saw this act as interference in the social and religious life of Indians by the British. Books written due to the Arctic home of the Vedas, 